Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Eighth Andy Psychopaths. Tonight we're checking out the movie Psychopaths, the movie. Um, I, I I don't know anything about it. I don't know what I'm walking into. This could be a prequel. This could be a sequel. This could be between season one and two. This could have Kogami. This could just be a kind of who even knows. You probably do, but I don't. Um, we just finished season two up, so chronologically, I think we're in the right spot. And hey, I mean, there ain't much to say. I got some water. I got some fruit snacks. What else do you need? It's time to watch the movie, baby. Double check I'm recording. It looks like we are. Let's get this going, baby. Boom, boom, boom. Three, two, one. Boom! You hear that? Either a playground or people are dying. Oh, it's just the animation. Uh, and because this is a, how long is this? Two hour movie. I might be snacking a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Usually I try not to snack, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. We got the fruit snacks, we got the granola bar. We'll keep the snacking on the low though. Oh, sorry, I'm not trying to move the mouse around like that. Hey, that's English. It's accented though. Mmm, looking through the scope. Where is that, like a binocular? Yayo, loud. What, they got robot warfare? Look at that. I don't think this is Japan. That's a Mayan. Kogami! Okay, okay. That's insane. That's really crazy to me. We're, so Kogami's in doing... He's in our army now. He's in the army. The special services, the SWAT team. SWAT team Kogami. What are they talking about? I can't believe they... It's been 20 seconds. They already name-dropped Kogami like that. Twenty one one six seven. Do I even write down the date? I mean, why not, right? Tokyo Bay. Oops, wrong wrong page. Wrong page. Oh, so we're back in Tokyo. Assuming we weren't in Tokyo, we could have been in Japan. It just it looked like freaking Mayan agriculture, dude. I forgot what the date was. <laughs> okay, I'm not writing it down. <laughs> oh, look at this animation. It's kind of it's kind of clean with it. Okay, Bolga. Who's that? Oh, Google Glass, you got the Google Glass on? I see you. Okay, so what's up with SWAT Team Kogami? Wait, is this... Is this still SWAT Team Kogami? I don't know. Wait, that's actually OP. Ow. What is going? Is this gonna be like an? Imagine if they just do like a complete action movie. Don't even mention crime coefficient or anything. It's just Kogami shooting people. That'd be hilarious. Is that him with the, with the stub? Wow, look at that neon cyberpunk city. Dude, some of those buildings are straight tilted. Was this red light district? Not looking like it. I'm just looking slummy. Man, is that Kogami with the stub? Hey, take off the Google Glass. Let me get in and look at your eyes. I, I know when I see Kogami eyes. I'm going to tell you how that is. Okay. That's our girl. How you doing, Akane? Dang, it's crazy to hear that sound right now. Oh, turn it up. Turn it up. Why are you talking so quiet, girl? I see you. I hear you, I mean. Whoa. And they even got Siri talking to him through it. Is Kogami speaking English to me right now? Yeah, he's like, come on, auto-translate? Is that really going to work? Have you ever tried to Google Translate before? Oh, it looks like it works. 
The grin, though. Not a huge fan of that grin. Whoa. Oh, those, are, those aren't real bugs. That was a fake bug. I don't think that was real. Wait, I'm actually confused. Wait, what? Oh, okay, the the trash was the hollow. Okay. That's kind of a good that's a smart move. Man, the hollow trickery, man. Mika? We're still with Mika Mika? Okay, Mika Mika. I'm gonna need you uh, this better be the Mika Mika redemption movie that we have been crying for, I'm telling you. Give me, a, give me a taste of this granola bar. Bro, I should have eaten before I started recording this. I'm not going to lie. It's late at night. I need to have my dinner. I need to have my dinner. What is this? The, the actual swat? Ow. Sorry, I just hit my foot. My man Hino. My man Hino. Do you know, th do you know too? Okay, this is just the the squad the squad rolling up. My man Hina. Okay, so it looks like we got the same squad. Wait, who's that guy on the right? Ooh, illegal immigrants. Okay, do you know who's who's left? That guy looks like an off-brand Togane. Oh, wait. I think she just said that pointing the dominator isn't going to be helpful because they're immigrants, but honestly, I didn't even see that. I was too busy staring at off-brand Togane. My man Gino. They pronounce it Gino, I think, but... Okay, Sugo. Is that my man Sugo? Alright, I'm going to have to write that. I'm not going to him. This pen sucks. Come on, man. Sorry. Okay. She's just she's just giving us the 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 the, the, the strat the stratagem. Yeah, of course we're gonna be careful. We don't know what these people are up to. Yeah, they got firearms. What? Wait, like real firearms? Do they got the blicky too, or are they going to rely on the dominators that they don't think are going to work? Because these guys got straight submachine guns strapped. I don't think Kogami's with this squad. There's no no chance. Unless he literally like became uglier. They, they feel it. They feel the bouncy, the bouncy maid. Look at that. Oh, look at the little police head. That's cute. Beep. Ah. It's bright. Big flash. All right, Dominator. What is he going to do? Is he going to say, don't care? Oh, no. Okay. Crime coefficient really high. It still cares. I don't remember big paralyzed. I don't remember if um it being an immigrant protects you from the dominator. What if they just killed someone? What if it was just like that, man? Yayoi, yayoi. Yeah, y'all aren't used to combat. Send in the drones, baby. <laughs> Bulletproof drones. Oh. Ooh, my man Sugo. Look at that. They added bits. Did you see that? It's more than just the juice now. Wait. There's no way he... <coughs> Do you know what the ponytail... 
Ponytail Geno Supremacy. He literally just dodged almost point blank submachine gun fire. Um, he's kind of OP. Did that guy faint? Man, I like the Yayoi uh, suit. Look, there's like deuces. Oh, that's his spine. Yeah, catching bodies, Hina. That's my man. Roll the window up. They had a grenade too. That's a frag grenade. You better cover. Big dodge, big dodge, do you know? Oh, they're going for the, the car shot. Oh, she was cooking it before she turned the corner. Wow, those things are ridiculous. Literally disintegrated the back of the car. Yeah, this is not Kogami game. Kogami game would never stand for this. Freaking Spec Ops Kogami, where, whatever was going on with him. It's a hollow, stupid. It's a, let's shoot down there. He's so dumb. He's freaking. Oh, you're out of ammo. You got tricked, son. Settle yourself. You don't want a suicide by cop, not here. Good, 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 good. She's, she's trying to save him right now by getting his crime coefficient low enough, right? Oh no, he's about to do something. Is that... That sounded good. Oh, she hit him with the paralyze. Good move, Akane. What is that? A photo? A photo of children? That would be something. Dang. He... A book. How was him with a child book? How was him with a suicide vest not enough for, for insta-kill? 293? It's crazy. This is a world with a mental state and personal... I'm not going to read that. You have eyes, dude. <laughs> Though, if you hadn't seen the series, this would be, um... This would be pretty important. Luckily, your boy's caught up. Your boy's got it up up top. And right here, baby. Let's go. Sybil. Sybil ain't so civil. Oh. Oh, hit me with the OP, baby. Hit me with the intro song. It's as if they are testing me, answer the truth. Yeah, I agree. Man. I'm so excited to have Kogami back. Oh, look at the squad. Not Mika. Look at the rest of them. Hina. Hina, baby. I love Hina so much. Dude, if anything happens to Hina, I drop the series. <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. I wonder how often that's happened. Like, there's somebody, like, watching a watching a show, one character dies, and they drop it like that. Like, if you're watching just for the character. I mean, I can see it. Certain certain shows. Character-driven character driven stories, man. It's important. My man, Ko. That's Kogami. Oh, I saw a little bit of Makashima in there. Oh, man. How's Mika going to screw this up? I'll, I'll stop being so hard on Mika. I'll chill out. I'll chill out. It's okay. My man Hina, though, name me one mistake Hina's made. None. He's only caught dubs. A hollow projection. Figured it out. Just like that. Doing work. Putting in the hours. He just caught, he caught a body. He already shot somebody. Made him go pop pop. Good OP. Good OP. I enjoyed that. Mu music was good enough. Don't talk to me, Sybil. I'm so tired of him. Ooh, Akane, why are you looking so clean? Ooh, look at what a good animation budget does to your girl, Akane, right there. <laughs> Ooh, maybe an in some inside? Some inside uh, problems? Potentially? I thought I just saw a light turn on that kind of spooked me. 
Not gonna lie. Because if someone's walking around at 3.30 a.m., that'd be a little, a little spicy. Man, look, she's got a new office, though. That stuff on the wall wasn't there previously. Or it could be a hollow. Don't trust your eyes. What is that? What does that look? What's going on behind that cyborg face, buddy? What kind of office design is this? Lime green? What are those, that Lego brick chair? What are those things? She's calling Mika. Why are you calling Mika? Wow, look at this place. Is that a child? No, that's a Kane. She just changed, so I thought she was a literal child. Oh, she's in the mall. Oh, is this one of the... One of the friends? From way, way back? Maybe the friend of the one that died? I don't know, man. Or this could be just some lady. Man, the in, in terror... The freaking, um... What's it called? Clothing industry is in shambles. You know what I just realized? I feel like the main series... We so rarely got to see... Like... People just being people, you know? Like, we saw it with, in season one with Akane and her friends. But man, seeing Akane hug someone, I just thought to myself, like, it has been so long since I've seen Akane not just having to put in the work, you know? It's kind of crazy. I mean, like, sometimes I'll have conversations or whatever, but it's always got that same tension to it. Like, it's got the same pressure. Or they're talking about work, or they're talking about the mission, or they're talking about, you know? Nothing wrong with it. It's just interesting. It's nice to see him relax a bit. Yeah, I mean, it ain't hers. She's just a worker. Well, she's kind of the worker, if we're going to be real. <sighs> right, because this is just Japan, remember. Just kidding. Civil export program? Excuse me? What the heck's Sayun? What is that? Did they put it on a boat? Do you have a second Sybil? What is this? Like they're sending out little seeds of their hive mind out? What is going on? Oh wait, it's working. Just kidding. Though I don't know. I don't know. Like Okay, Akane. She's doing some CQC. What what was that? She blocked it with like her inner Oh, she kind of. Oh, she kind of bad though. Yeah, it was a hollow, hollow dummy. Oh, Akane booty. I don't think we've ever seen that Akane booty before. Bro, I got nothing but respect for my girl Akane. She fine. I, I feel like the, that fight there, like, dude, the sports bra she was wearing really accentuated. I'm saying that how it is. I'm saying that how it is. Who is that? Richard Nixon? Are they hollows? They look like hollows. Oh, why are you thinking about the book? He, who do you mean by he? Dang, she got a rich house. Because I know, like, hollows, right? It can look like anything, but space-wise, she's got, like, a huge suite. She fell asleep on the couch. Look at this animation of her standing up. I'm so glad that they got some budget for this. I always forget Xion's name. It's because she, like, arrives, like, every six episodes. She just pops up and says, like, it was good, and then, like, bangs someone and then disappears. I'm going to write her name down. She's saying, hey, they're talking about you behind your back, girl. What do you mean, stop her? What's going on? You don't have to wear clothes, just wear a hollow. Stupid. Don't break your own lore. They gave us a taste. <laughs> a memory scoop of the guy? The, the, the guy that they looked at?
confirmed lake vent. No precedent. There's no precedent. 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 Memory skew kills him. You just killed that man in captivity be just because he was late in criminal. That's not how the system works. Is he dead? Shut up. Shut your mouth. I don't care. Yeah, he has rights as a lean criminal. That's why you've been slamming him in the slammer if they're below 300. That guy was below 300. So unless he raised above 300, you can't just execute him. Yeah, you can't just execute the guy. You're going against your own thing, my dude. You have no shame. That's true. Unless you got some real good info. She's pogging. Kogami in the Aztec Mountains. Kogami. It's been a while, hasn't it, since you've seen a Makane? Where'd they get this 4K footage? Oh, there's bowl cut. So this was Squad Kogami. You got no hope. You got no faith in Kogami. I mean, I don't know what Shayon is. I guess it's a location. Okay, Kogami is with the Southeast Asian Union. Where's the end come from? Oh, Union. Na, 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 na. Right, because that was the floating thing I think we saw. So they're really like going to like a war-stricken nation. Dropping in a freaking hive mind cyst Sybil. And then when they got the drones going through trying to fix the thing, Kogami is a part of the anti-Sybil, like the, in the insurgents or whatever, dude. Yeah, he's definitely overseas. He's definitely fighting people in freaking Shayon. We don't know if he's sending him. We don't... Hey, that's an assumption. That's a halfway decent plan. Yeah, we don't know if Kogami's calling the shots. He's just there. Yeah, maybe scooping the guy was a bad idea because we can't get any more information. You're just getting images. Kane says it how it is, because this is a Kane we're talking about. She's not going to get caught up in the, 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 the... Dang, I just got really stressed. I'm... You know, like, when you forget, you don't know if you lock your door? I just had that with the recording again, but I already checked it. We're good. We're good. If you're seeing this, that means you're, we're good. She's speaking in trash English. You hear that? Well, it's just super accented. Uh, looks like memory scoop, sur he survived. But it's just like torture, dude. You see him? He was bleeding. He was crying blood, man. What? I mean, is he wrong? At least with what we've seen, when you got people like Mika being raised by the system, when you got people like all these people that we're looking at in the prison, like they're tweaking. It ain't, it ain't looking like the utopia that they're promising. Yeah, I don't know. Kogami, oh, she's talking to Red Door Man? Like Makashima, has he become Makashima? My man, body language scientist. Man, look at this beautiful, like, like, um, New York bar room. Nice rug. Signed to you by society. 
Yeah, Connie Connie loves her society. Yeah, he started losing it. Just a little bit. Yeah, as much as I like to say it, I don't I don't have much faith in my boy Akane. I mean my boy Kogami. Just for the sake that Kogami, I mean he is uh, I don't know, it's complicated. True, you can't just walk in your cop. Though she is part of the bureau, yeah, so it makes sense that she could pull up to the Sibyl location there. Yep, the Shambhala float. As long as she's within there, that makes sense. Right. Like, who? The people there? Why wouldn't they? That's kind of weird. Or, like, the people on the boat? It makes sense if they would. But whatever. Who are you bringing? Oh, Okana, you you want to write it solo? No, Gino. Look, Gino's Gino's crying. Call him. Call Gino up. Oh, they're talking about it. Bro, she's pretending that she didn't just say I'm going alone. That's fair. Don't don't want to bring enforcers with you. Whatever. Dude, Gino with the ponytail. Hey. Punch him in the face. And then you can punch him in the face. Yeah, Kane, that's what we like to hear. Hey, she's been taking those MMA classes. Yeah. Saucy little Akane. Off in the CGI jet, baby. Uh, yeah, it's gotta be CGI. No problem with the CGI, though. She's got the entire jet to herself. She's in, she's in first class. Look, there's only two seats of pop, but she's got the entire thing. Oh, it's yeah, because they're they're a storage jet, a cargo jet, so it makes sense she'd be alone. Fine. Well, actually, why aren't you like sending people back and forth? I feel well, but they do use drones a lot, so I guess it kind of makes sense if they're doing it super remote like that. Very interesting. Man, how good's the Wi-Fi? Like, if you pull a Dominator on somebody, right? You, you pull it on him, Sibyl does the reading. Like, how long does it take for the freaking info to get sent to Japan and sent back? It's an issue. Dang, I can't believe she's flying to go meet Kogami. Yeah. <sighs> Cement themselves to the law of the jungle. It's a good question. That's a good shot right there. Paying out and she's looking at the, the airplane window where he is. That's a good shot. Hey, cinematographers. Ooh, cinematographers, take notes. Look at that. And like the, the, the color changes as it goes from the blue to the orange. That's some good stuff right there. I'm hoping he's not saying something uber important, just crime stuff. You know, just just the law of the jungle kind of kind of stuff. Yeah, as much as you love our boy Ko, like K Kogami could get results. That's why we love Kogami, right? Like he pulled up on the boy Makashima and he made it happen. Where a lot of these people, other than Akane, nobody else is really doing that much. Are you actually here? Oh, none of the people there know that what they are is what they are. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so they're sending the info back and forth. But like, no dominator usage. So all they have is the scanners? 
Interesting. Yeah, no one's going to adopt a system without knowing everything about it. Like, having no transparency is is brutal. But yeah, I guess they were desperate because of war-torn. War Does that make sense? Oh, rip that boat. Guy's just fishing, dude. He just got bombed. Just like that happens to the best of us, man. My condolences, my good sir. My condolences. I'm finishing my granola bar. It's like a, it's like a airplane snack, you know, where they come by and they give you like a, a cup of like raisins. I've never gotten raisins though. They usually come by and give you like water. And if you're awake, you can be like, "Hey, yo, get me a Dr. Pepper." Otherwise, you don't get none. I wonder if you could hollow the plane to make the plane look weird. That'd be funny. Why does that look like Attack on Time? Kind of. There's just a wall. Oh, why am I so bad at eating and talking, man? Literally, eating and talking is two things you've been doing since you were a baby. You'd think I'd, I'd know how. Wow, look at that guy. His hair is so long I thought it was a cape. I love how they're speaking English. <laughs> and it's so accented. Oh, she turned the translator on. Thank goodness. Okay, Mr. Wong. Dang, really? The entire world sucks except Japan? You pull it to Japan and it's just the civil system, man. It's not like that's a ton, ton better. This place sucks. Kind of a nice, nice spot though. People just chilling. Reminds me of those like crowded street markets, you know, in like some certain countries. Oh no. Are those lynchings? There's some lynching victims. That's pretty terrible. Hung from the, the top, top of the buildings. Oof. Mm. Tell me how, how is your hue and crime coefficient supposed to be semi-natural when you're being compared to the people that have lived their entire life in like a plushy, No, oh, don't punch her. How'd she get past the wall? You didn't see her until she starts slapping the window? Come on, guys. She's dead. Issue. Issue. You, you're you you're using the crime coefficient stuff? That Japan is like this plushy, soft place where everybody becomes sheep people, right? We have Akane who's like so, such a chad. She's like the only one who isn't getting corrupted by all the stuff around her constantly, you know? So like when you got people coming from like a war torn place, they're gonna they're not gonna be able to enter. Like no one's gonna be able to enter, because no one's gonna have a clean hue because they're they have such awful circumstance. Well, I mean there's, there'll be a few, I guess, but like yikes, they really just put sky skyscrapers skyscrapers on a boat. It's kind of cool. It sounds expensive. Do they have collars on? What is this? Excuse It can one shot him. And will it one shot him? They're being used as like slaves. Yeah, of course it'd be harmful. Yikes, man. <laughs> I 
Ja. Das. I don't know, man. Poor Akane is just alone with all these crazy people. I guess my boy Wong hasn't done anything crazy yet, but. This this place, I don't. Look, they got this plush cat. You. You're gonna take a part of your boat and you're gonna make a palace on it, man? That's just a waste of space, dog. Like, come on. Okay, what's good with you, Mr. Han? Yeah, chairman? How long are you gonna hold that handshake, dog? There we go. Drop it. You know that thing for at least 10 seconds. You don't need to be shaking that long. Come on. At that point, you're just trying to get a feel of her hand. Whoa. Careful. You're talking about Ko, right? Yeah. Dude, poor Akane. I just feel like she's out of her, like, out of her element. She's talking to some chairman of some war-torn country that was put in command by probably Japan. As we got this, this, you know, followed by Mr. Wong, which I ain't trusting Mr. Wong. Even if you got a clean pass, I mean, guess who else had a clean pass? Makashima. Talk about it. Ooh, Xion gave you a little, a, a little easy way out. What is it? It'd be funny if it was alcohol. What if it's a, a derringer pocket pistol? Those close shots of Akane got me feeling some kind of way. Oh, she's Googling him. Okay, I hope you can read Japanese because I can't. Hmm. Okay, suspicious. Man, this place is insane. I can't even understand it. They literally put skyscrapers on a boat and just float it over. The thing, though, is like... Wait, this is way more important than what I was about to say. Okay, yeah, terror seeking revenge. I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about Kogami giving a guy a suicide vest and telling him to go to Japan. Like, we don't know if that's really what happened, but this is my maid. Oh yo, she's an latent criminal. Oh kawaii. She's been, she's here to keep an eye on Akane. Don't pretend it, that that's not what's going on right now. She just said you can't go to those two places, but you can do anything else. On the alcohol trade? Oh, what is it? What's it? What was it called? The... She's been trained to answer, dude. She's got a she's got a poison necklace on. If you don't say that, you you're you're worried that your cloud's gonna get hued, because if your cloud gets hued, you die. Though that's a good point. What do I do? What do I choose? How? Who am I? Answer this BuzzFeed quiz and we'll tell you the answer. That's what it is. Simple is just advanced BuzzFeed. What am I doing with my hand? I've, I've noticed, I do, like, there's some weird, like, habits I do whenever I'm, like, editing. I'm like, dude, what is he, what is this guy doing? Also, these pants I'm wearing, they ride so high on my waist. They're literally trying to swallow me. Chill out. This seems like a nice place. Really weird colors, though. Look at who, the green and the, the browns, man. This is kind of nice, though. I would eat at this kind of restaurant. Are they, all the waitresses are wearing latent criminal things? And all the people eating are wearing, not? 
think about that. Like, it's interesting if you imagine like a society, which this is what the show's doing. Um, where like the latent criminals. Oh wait, we're about to see an action. Are treated worse. Yeah, like he's got the collar on, so he's gonna be the one that's made fun of, even if he wasn't the one that did anything wrong. He's dead. They just killed him or sedated him. So like it just it's it's just bad. It's just a bad situation. I mean it's supposed to be a dystopia, so like it's it is what it is, but man. You're seeing it up close and personal here. Okay, chill out, spy plane. Look at this thing. Looks like it's gonna drone strike some children. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I like how these guys are probably supposed to like be speaking normal English, but they, they're obviously speaking like Japanese accented English. Is that Kogami? That's Akane. What? Akane, what are you doing? Why are you looking so far? Look at that bulletproof jack she got on. She's equipped. When the fighting starts. What do you mean when the fighting starts? Are you going to drop... Are you going to Fortnite on these guys? Drop on them? Fortnite reference, Fortnite reference. Take a sip of the water. You hear that music? It's getting like orchestra. Also, look at those tanks. Holy crap. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I guess stomping terrorists is policing. Yep, I was. It's exactly what I was saying right there. Akana's just got no power, man. Boat tank. There's no way that thing's floating, right? They're floating. That's crazy. I mean, I guess there's boats that float that are covered in metal. So whatever. Oh, that's going to take so long. A logistical nightmare, man. Oof. Nice architecture, though. It's a shame that it's going to get stomped out and replaced with holograms of it. It's an interesting question of, like, is a how good's a hollow compared to the real thing, right? Like, you can't eat a hollow. So... I don't know, man. How do you show your luxury? Otherwise, like... Because anyone can wear a hollow of some Gucci. Oh, you're getting scanned. Oh, they're all dead. Bothers me that the soldiers are wearing the necklaces. That's crazy. You could not catch me wearing one of those. Being told you're a criminal, you have to wear this death necklace? They're dead. It's just a yikes. Ooh, that was a good shot. I hope you got more than an AK, because an AK is not doing anything. Oh, that's horrible. At least, yeah, at least this guy get away. Aw, oh, he didn't get away. Me too, Okane. So what do they do in an area stress level thing? Yeah, yes! What do you mean is kill or be killed? Your 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 life's not under any risk. I you're you're sitting in your plush plated plane, dude. I hit you with a triple P, calm down. The workforce is over. Man. That's what I was saying earlier, man. You're not going to get any numbers of 
they're just pull, they're, they're pulling Bastion, man. Man, 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 man. Scandoas. Oh, they're chicken robots. Okay, they got some bazookas. I was gonna I was gonna make fun of them for only having AKs against planes that like an AK is gonna do nothing. They got one. Okay, it is a little bit of a killer be killed situation. Kogami did it. That's gotta be our man, Ko. It is. Ow, Kogami. Dude, he's got an AP sniper. That guy. Okay, so Kogami's killing people now. Like a lot of people. Is he grappling out of here? It makes sense that his English would be accented like that, because it's our boy Kogami. He's leading, dude, he's leading the insurrection, man. Whoa, the moves. <laughs> What's your Tonka truck gonna do against that thing? Small arms fire is not gonna do anything. That's a big gun. I take it back. Look at that thing. Oh boy. It has walker legs and treads. Dude, that tank probably costs like $80 million a pop. Minimum. Probably way more. Look at that thing. It's just walking by him. Pitfall. Oldest trick in the book. Oh, they have a big gun on that. Oh. They just hit him with a hack? Do they like... Uh, standalone mode, that's not good. Oh, they're gonna like restart maybe and then go on their own, independent? Or are they just gonna sit down? They might just sit down. Um, okay, I was about to say, is that where Akane is? Because then it exploded and I knew. Oh boy, they got, they're getting counterattacked way harder than I thought they would. Oh, the restart. The counter counterattack. They shot his arm off and then walked over him. And then took a dump on him with the, sh the shells. Chicken robots, man. No respect. Kogami with the swipe. Big swipe, Ko. Oh, they just replayed the footage. She's running. Akane, you're gonna get shot in your dome. His voice thrown me. She's got to take off the freaking barrow of investigations clothes she has on, or she's gonna get shot by the first person she sees, unless that person's Kogami, and in which case she is extremely lucky. What is this stealth music? Oh, there we go. It just need to pick itself up, you know. Okay. Man, I can't believe Kogami's, like, a veteran in war now. I was not ready for that one, man. Who is it? It's Kogami. Or Akane. We already know it's Akane. Kogami doesn't know that, though. Look at him. He's about to, he's about to shoot a grenade launcher into her mouth. 
an entire grenade in her jaw. She's got the Krav Maga! Oh, come on, I'll play him! What is he doing? She was faster. Oh, you've been beat, buddy, at your own game. Look at this. He has the revolver, man. Kogami, what kind of what kind of angry look was that? I wanted Yeah, there's the sunbeam. Y'all were buds. Y'all were friends. Don't forget that. Oh, he's smiling. That's the Kogami we're looking for. <laughs> he says arrest. Big question. He is not. That's my man, Kogami. Get down. It's He's covering. Good move, Kogami. It won't shoot because Akane's there? Whew. Uh, bro, I don't even know what I would do. I'd probably, I wouldn't even be here. I wouldn't have gone to here. I would have stayed in my plush little cabin. I would have lived off my paycheck and I would have made YouTube videos. I would have gone home. This ain't my fight. <laughs> society? That sounds like society's issue, not mine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Taking a bite out of my granola bar. You know how it goes. Look at that scan though. Their drones are OP. Literally walking war robot. Look at that. Under very odd circumstances. He had it prepared. Wait, um, you're in the building, too. Okay, risky move. They got out, though. Really risky. Look at the size of that. What do you mean? What are you talking about, Wong? Wong. Literally chill. She got in the way of one guy dying. Poor guy. He got shot a couple times, maybe. Oh, ow. Ow. Gotta get blood out of the lungs. Is that what that was? So it looked like a little hollow tube so we can breathe through it. I've watched an episode of Grey's Anatomy, just the one. Hey, it's your favorites, Kogomi. I know what you like, don't worry about it. Of course he's got a Zippo. How's it feel? How's it feel, Akane? How's it feel getting that second hand from your boy Kogami after all this time? Feels good. That's what it feels. She won't admit it right now. She's busy with the investigation, but... She's kind of no-nonsense, but... We know that she cares. Ah... <sighs> You had a lot of cigar cigarette to burn on that. That was kind of a waste. Old habits. Yeah, Kogami, just just explain everything. Just tell me the entire plot. Just tell me the plot, man. Ooh. Yeah, you ever scan? What if they're just not getting scanned? 
I was mission failure. You killed like a million guys. Yeah, she was the guest, all right. Oh. <laughs> he's joking. He's just he's just fooling around. <laughs> That's a good point. Did Sybil send her to the death? <laughs> Freaking Sybil, man. That's so Sybil for them to do. Bro, yo, he has the same type of chair that Sybil has. He's literally Sybil 2.0. He's literally- What if he is Sybil? Oh my goodness, he's his own brain factory. It's gotta be the situation. That- that might be it. That might be- He might be a cyborg. He might be exactly what Sybil is. And he's just a remote, a separate extension from that. They're not even sending the information back and forth. Could be a play. We don't know. We don't know. But it could be an option. Oh, Robo Legman. Who's this? Whoa, who's this man? Oh, gross. He's with freaking. I forgot even. Wong. He's with Wong. Who is this guy? This guy's gonna be so OP. Just look at him. He's got two robo limbs. Okay. Yeah, he's the assassin. Okay. Wow, look at his robot parts, though. Ooh. Okay. Hey, I'd pay top dollar for their services after seeing that girl, you know what I'm saying? He probably doesn't want that. Oh. You see, the, there's some people that are... Yeah. Oh, that's awful. Look at that. <laughs> he says, I don't care about your philosophy, man. I don't care. Yep, mercenaries. Look at that, they got just five people on their beachfront. Okay, that's a really good shot though. Having the, the five people like freaking fallout Caesared up, you know, next to the beautiful beachfront. That's crazy. Oh, what's up with the quick walk when they turn the corner? What's up with the quick walk? They're scaring me. Okay, I don't want their services no more. They're mean. They're mean. Like in the Mayan temples, though. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Kind of sick. Good coloring. Look at that orange sunset. Or is it fire? Consider the following. Who is that girl? Oh, Kogami. Why'd you have to wear such a skin tight shirt? He's He knew what he did as soon as he slipped that on. Oh, he tucked it. He knows what he's doing. Don't even try to play me, Kogami. Don't even try it. Okay, Connor. You're getting to see everybody suffering. This guy's limping. Is he hurt? Is he just really hungry? Kogami looks like he's eaten a lot. Look at him. He's buff. Old friend. Guest of mine? Fine, close enough to the word friend. Eh, show you the way. <laughs> That's brutal. But we know Kogami's a thug no matter what he's doing. He's popping off. He got their dog tags. Whew. Yeah, 
It's big. Man, that looks like a museum. Like a pyramid. Very cool environment. Very odd to see our girl Akane walking around. And our boy Kogami chilling in a place like this. No wonder he wasn't around second season. He's too busy doing this kind of stuff. He's too busy playing guerrilla terrorist. In a good way, I guess. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the entire world sucks. Well, then Japan's the best place to be. Simple system and all. I'm t I'm keeping my plush bed, right? I don't want to I don't want to go go be a warrior. I okay, I ain't built for that. I know how it is. I love the emphasis on the smoke though. True cuz he knows how it works cuz he worked there. That's really important. Because he's one of the very few people that made it out of Japan, I bet. Hey, he's got respect. Oh boy. This close-up of Kogami is pretty good. To elevate its own position. Yeah, it's it's just what it is. I mean, there we go. He's actually smoking the entire cigarette for once. Yeah, I want to see him get scanned. Assuming it's just him and not, you know, 300 million people at once. What? It looked for a split second like he was about to give her the smooch. Though they've never really, it's never really been a romantic thing between them. Just two homies doing the doing the work that nobody else is willing to do. Ultimate bureaucracy. That's it's kind of kind of true. Right, including him, because yeah. Why? Why is he saying was? Because he yeah, because that didn't happen. Why? Why didn't it happen? A year ago. This has been going on for a while. Okay, those candles are freaking me out. Ooh, this place is scary. Bananas. Is that antiseptic? Ooh, this is crazy. We got an entire religion flourishing here. What a call out. <laughs> He's even aware. <laughs> that was funny. He's just like, girl, you got to chill out with that mouth. They freaking, you don't got to throw that much shade. She changed when you left, bro. You weren't there to be the, be, be the, the heavy hitter. So she had to learn how to hit heavy. Okay, yeah, so they were people that went on their own. That's what I was saying at the beginning, baby. Ow, kinda. Oof. True. Their little bug, Cinebug scanners caught them early. Okay, rule of threes, look at that. 
Hmm? Something bad's about to happen. Bro, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> now that Kogami's the leader of these, this entire, like, thing, Loki, now Akane's got a connection that'll be able to make her make some changes on a bigger floor. Because normally, she's just walking around, like... <laughs> like, she doesn't have much power wherever she goes. So it's nice that we got Kogami, who's actually got power. Because all her power is that she's an investigator for freaking Sybil, but the only thing that she has that she can use her power against is, like, Sybil, right? So if Sybil, like, ah, she's just not very helpful in anything that Sybil doesn't want to happen, which is, like, most things. What is this? Oh, the mercenary group, they're coming in. I said something bad was gonna happen. I forgot about them. She has entire watermelons, cantaloupes, even. Excuse me? She just scanned it. She just thermal scanned it with a, a wire through the dirt. Technology has advanced a lot in a hundred years, apparently. Okay. Solid. Oh, those knife skills were crazy. She, she hit him with like seven slashes. She went... <laughs> that was sick. I am a big support of that. Blinding him. Big throat slit. Too late. I'm already in your face. Big shanks. Hey, turn the watch volume lower. Though, though she got some cake. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pretend that I didn't see that. Oh, this guy's the scary one. He's got double robo limb. He's a better, he's like Gino, but actually like gonna be really strong. Those two people got mech suits. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, they're sleeping in the same room. Did Kogami give her the big bed and he rolled out the cot? That better have been what happened. You give the woman the bed, Kogami, good move. And then you pretend you can't find the cot, right? And then that like leads her into a way she'd be like, hey, we only need the one bed. Looks like that didn't happen, though, so we had to bust out the cot. Unlucky. Did you not hear the explosions, or they have not happened? Oh, yeah. Were they, like, banned books in Japan? Aw, Kogami's copy. Was she thinking, like, dang, this is so something Kogami is gonna read? Yeah, what are you telling people, Kogami? Good question. You're the spiritual leader, Kogami? You're the savior? <sighs> You're pretty charismatic, Kogami. That's what she's saying. She knows that. Ooh, careful. That's the lot you're insinuating, Akane. Though that was kind of a big theme of the first season. And what body language scientist was saying, BLS, my main man BLS. Yeah, I mean now, now it's happening, though. You can't pretend it's not. Like, those people... Okay, he's agreeing that it's happening now. <sighs> She's just saying it. She's saying, you're doing what Makashima's doing. You're both latent criminals. Well, no, Makashima wasn't. He was, he was built different. Easy to manipulate. Yeah. Dang, three people are trying to chat up that one girl. She's just trying to whittle. Why's it gotta happen to good people, you know? Got a bunch of... 
weak people, you know, uh, drawn to him like that, weighing him down. Oh, okay, there's the boom. He's already off running. Because that's our man Kogami, always ready for a fight. Look at that, he's already taking a post. The climb. Who's, or who's already there? Okay, it's just some dude. Does he know the mercenaries, perhaps? That'd be interesting. Watch out, you're gonna get sniped, dog. I warned you, he can tell. He can't tell, he doesn't know yet. That guy looks like... Oh, explosion shot. These mercenaries are rich. Look, they got entire mech suits. Where's those bazookas you had? You gotta get some bazookas up in here. Oh no, the museum. The cultural history. No. Jump boot. Hoopoo feather. Check it out right now. Oh, they don't know. Man, they must be getting paid a lot for this job. You're out of ammo. Yep, hit him with the punch. All that on your neck? You're so dead. Oh, he held it back. That guy's still moving. Just kidding. He, he gave... A bone. Free for all. What is that? What is that? Spider Man. He bouncing. Okay, he can tell. Yeah, they are. They're kind of crazy. Not what you want to be hearing from Kogami. Kogami. Are they gonna? Homeboy's got a crazy scar on his forehead. Akane's too important. No, she ain't abandoning you. She doesn't want to leave the boy. Uh, I don't know, man. Okay, that was kind of sweet. No, oh, she's sad. She missed the man. Oh, a grenade. Dang, is that really gonna be the 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 last time she sees him? Until like freaking season seven. Like, dang. That was sweet though. They had some sweet moments. Come try to catch me again. Good line. Good line. Motorbike Kogami. Of course he's on a motorbike. Oh my goodness. This guy's like crazy. Flipped off a flipping motorbike with a AK. It's not going to do much against the, that thing though. Oh, Sam's so dead. You're not going to do nothing against the mech suits. Whoa, what happened? Sam is dead. Dang it, Sam. You, uh, she, no, she's, she just interrupted Kogami. She's about a close quarter. Come on. Kogami is literally the target. And there's like seven mech suits. He's done. Is it death? Is it kill? Oh, they want to find Akane. I forgot about that. Sybil, did, did Sybil send her here to die? They disrupted, they got her. That's not good. Recipe Sem though. You seemed like a real one. Uh, sorry, he didn't have enough character development, so mm -mm, bye bye. Okay. They don't want to kill Kogami, though. He's like, hey, you think I'm going to die that easily? And he's immediately getting played. Ooh, just kidding. He's got he's got swift moves. 
Though he's done so now that it's a now that it's a two v one. Yeah, you ain't gonna beat that. Not with a metal metal arm people. Oh, he's actually holding his own. Oh, robo leg, you're done. Oh. Yeah, you can't beat this man. Konami says, you think I'll die that easily? Not, not, yeah, you're gonna die that easily. You, you can't throw hands with elite mercenaries. I'm sorry, Kogami. Not when they got mech suits, man. I mean, but who could be ready for that? Who would expect that to happen? Don't even talk to me, Mr. Wong. You have seven guns trained on me right now. You got me in zip ties. You're standing on my country's economy right now. You're spending on my dollars, my tax dollars, okay? Don't start saying this mumbo jumbo. You're not something special. Yeah, and you're acting on your own. Why not though? Why not, Deporter? Okay, weird. Oh, he's got some problems with the way you've been running things, Colonel. He's slapping his presidential power up in this. Not that it's president, it's more like a dictator, right? That's the vibe we got previously. Well, this is a cute house. Okay, well, what's Akane gonna do? She doesn't even have Wi-Fi. You know they turned off the freaking 4G in this area. 5G? 5G in this area. Oh, is she gonna find a spot? There's a hidden camera, dude. Oh, sorry. Every time I see a bathroom, I just get a little excited. Oh, she found some. No, she didn't. Oh, is it the red package, the secret passage? She's pretending to go in the bathroom because she saw the secret cameras and they she knows there ain't no secret cameras. Is she venting? Oh, she had skitter bugs. Okay. Okay, Shion. Had to check her name. I always forget her name. Good, good, good move, Shion. I respect it. They're so cute. Look at them go. Why are you posting up there? What's the play? Oh, they got little tendrils. They're hacking right now. Those things are OP. I like how there's this stupid little police bot thing. Chill out. What, you're supposed to come in and run interference? Just say I'm pissing. I'm in the bathroom. After my shower. That's why we do it in the bathroom. She is so smart. Guess you gotta strip down to make it seem real, though. No, stay by the shower. You don't want to be peeking. If she sees you peeking, it's over. Interesting. I can't believe Kogami is an insurgent. That's still crazy. He really went off on to start doing his own thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's kind of like, what if you what if you point the point the uh, the dominator at the people pointing the dominator, right? See what Commander Han or whatever his name is. They don't gotta give you that fan service. She's there. She's in the background. Good on Akane. 
Wait, why did I say good on Akane? Yeah, okay, so I think the people running it are going to be, like, corrupt psychopaths or whatever. That's going to be the silver bullet that she's looking for. Oh, you're no people pleaser. She an Akane pleaser. Ooh, okay. That looks yummy. She just drinks the water and leaves. Doesn't eat the food. She's not sitting down. She's turning it off. She's hacking it. Oh, she thought she was about to die. You're a real... Whoa, Akane, what? Uh-huh. Hello? What did they do? Strap one of those collars to her ankle and she didn't notice? Whoa. They're way higher. Yep. Wait, no, those are all the band people. They're all getting executed. He's even supposed to be getting executed. Why are they all being set to execute? Was it a play by Sybil to trick him? I don't know. Why would they do that? Oh, she getting played. She was getting played by the family. Bad move, Akane. You got her killed. I'm blaming that on Akane. She just took one to the dome because you thought you could just take her thing off, dude. She's been being brainwashed. So are they actually 300 plus? All of them? Yeah, they weren't going under the scans. Okay, so it's not like they were set to die. They were always supposed to die. Okay, well, the, the info's been sent, though. So the dub is on the way. Akane, though, is gonna die. I mean, Makashima did that. <laughs> Why did she pass out? Why did Akane pass out? Was the water laced? Oh my gosh, the water was laced. She played Akane before Akane got the chance to play her. The one thing Akane touches and it's laced. Bad move, Akane. You should have seen that coming. I'm stupid, so I, I'm not, I, I'm not, you know, it's not my fault. It's your fault. Come on. She got knocked out right when she took the collar off. They punching bag in Kogami. What a dick. Oh, they're swapping to Japanese. Uh, most of them do. A lot of them are pretty spying this. Dang, he's just hanging by the chains. He even got a proper footing. He's still only third rate. True, you gotta choose your right employer. It's a big part of being a mercenary. But Kogami ain't about the mercenary life. That's not how it goes. He's no shark. Okay, he kind of just... Mm. Yeah, I mean, he's... He's saying a lot of politics for a mercenary, I'll tell you that much. Are they taking his chains off? Because... Ow! Ooh, those dangle sounds, though. Did he just quote it? He quoted something. Post-colonialism. That's crazy. Kogami, you're not gonna be able to fire right now. Come on, man. He's impressed, though. Much like, um... Uh, old man Makashima back in the day. Don't hit him with the one-armed pile driver. You ain't gotta do him that. You ain't gotta do him that dirty though. Yo, mercenary, why are you being so personal about this? I thought you were a mercenary. I thought it was just about the job. Come on. 
You even say, hey, you got brains, Amber, on. What are you doing punching back in Kogami like this? This is just mean. Oh, I guess he did kind of like that, though. Remember the beach? People impaled on the beach. Ooh, a little flicker jab, a little flicker jab. Countered! You weren't ready for that one. Oh, he cut it with his other hand. <laughs> Good on you, Okogami. Ooh. How, okay, how are you, how are they gonna get out of this, man? A good agitator, he would. I thought you wanted him alive. <laughs> Wait, what a ritual. Man, pour, he's pouring one out on you through the gun. Wasting all that fine liquor. Probably some like, what, whiskey? A little bit of rum. You feel like joining us. He sees the potential. Though, maybe you should have talk, told him that before you punched him in the face a lot. He's giving you a chance to live. I mean, you gotta take it, Kogami. Well, yeah, Kogami, Kogami has a code, right? What's a man without his code? Yeah, Mr. Wong, he's still alive. What's the use? Oh, because Wong has a power-hungry maniac. That's probably the use. Mm. All right, we're, we're in a real low low spot here, ladies and gentlemen. We're in a really low spot. Kogami's at, like, 1 HP, being brought to Mr. Wong, who's evil. Only saving grace we have is that I think Akane sent the... Yeah, Akane sent the info to Hongro Shion, right? So... Maybe Sybil's gonna come to the rescue and say, hey, you haven't been um, getting scanned properly now, have you? And then all the people with collars are gonna die or get sedated. So if they somehow manipulate that system, then they're golden. But I don't see, Kogami's not in a place to do that. Akane's not in a place to do that. So it's gotta, it's, we gotta rely on the people on the outside, right? That's the situation I think we're in. Bro, that one mercenary has such nothing. Oh, they met again. Under pretty poor circumstances, but they met again. He just wanted to have a monologue. Yeah, he's even saying, what's up with this stupid plan? Just put a bullet in their brain. Give them the journalist prize of excellence. They wanted to look believable, so they're willing to sacrifice that. Kokomi still has some use. Bring him here so I can kill him. He wants his helicopter story, man. Oh, you're gonna just throw their corpses in the helicopter? He's just gonna t duct tape them to the, the helicopter and then fly it into the ground. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, she's trying. He's spitting a little bit of facts. What was that sound? <laughs> Yo, shh. Get out of here. Get out of here! This was all a Han plan. Huh?
The drone. She took the drone over. That's the play we were looking for. <gasps> oh, that's hype. According to paragraph three. Uh, yeah, they said you, you just tried to play us. And now we're going to execute you all. Purge all your thoughts of resistance. You think that's going to calm people down? Red flashing tape. Just, just do dog videos. Just play dog videos and say we're doing a we're doing a a, a public cleansing. You know. Wong, you're about to. No, nah, don't even try it, Wong. Yeah, you're done. Is that Gino? That's Gino. Gino with the sniper dominator. Good dodge, Akane. Get out of here, Wong. I was tired of that guy. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, dance around a little bit with your little intestine legs. Oh, that's horrible. Just kidding. Eh. What are you, what are those gonna do, huh? What are your little what are your baby bullets gonna do? What are your nine millimeters gonna do? That's pretty horrible, though. I'm not a huge fan of watching that. Like one guy getting getting bubble popped is something, but uh, crowds of people getting bullets shot through them. Ugh. Yikes. There's the mercenary. They're about a, they're about him. That was a big passover. Oh, one of the one of the mech suit users died. What's that? Oh, cube cube missiles. She's done. That's a waste of good talent, huh? Oh, let's go with you. He's not gonna kill him. His client's dead. Yeah, he's he's got nothing to he's got nothing to Nothing to gain anymore. Hey, okay, mercenary. I respect it. I respect it. My kind of man. Man, two of them back together. Hina! Oh, I, I thought the episode was about to end, but we're watching a movie, so that's not how it works. <laughs> yes. She's OP. Yeah, you send in the info right in the nick of time. And they're in our jurisdiction because they're on our boat. Mm. Ah, it was only the the un unfriendlies that were getting scanned. Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty weak trick. What, Mika? Oh, that's fair. Shut up. Go home. Hey, Mika, Mika, Miku. Um, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You were in your room having a panic attack while I was out here getting stuff done. <laughs> this is an excuse to get rid of you. What are you- Mika. Oh, Akane. Oh, she's gonna be in the shower later thinking about a good retort. Because she wasn't able to get one out there. Kogami's not even here anymore. Where's Kogami? Dominator portable psychological thing has been activated, baby. Ooh, how's it feel getting that Dominator back in your hands, girl? Probably pretty good, huh? Yeah, she is. Okay, what was her point? Her point was, obviously, this was going to happen. They were just tolerating the system, blah, blah, blah. But then what's the point of all of this? Right? Like, 
where they just they want to take control of this area. I mean, I guess they're still getting their testing information. Is that who was that? Is that Co? Co, were you shot? I mean, he was shot on the cheek. Was he was he shot seriously? It is Co. He must have been shot seriously. They probably showed him as well. Hello? Is that Makashima? Makashima ghost? Makashima ghost. You slippery little snake. Lives on within Kogami, dude. Yare yare. Yup, dude. It's like Makashima is to Kogami what Kogami is to Akane in a really, really weird way. Just kind of like a huge motivator and like the person they talk to when they're when they're stressing and not sure what to do. He just had to confirm that he was dead by passing through him. Okay, dude. <laughs> this panning shot's crazy. Kogami's like not as mentally stable as I wish he was. Poor guy, he's struggling. He's a bloodhound. Is that Mika and Akane? No, it's Gino and Akane. I can roll with Gino. No, 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 no. Give him the punch, Gino. Give him the punch, Gino. Okay. 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 Mercenary? Oh. Kogami got the mercenary cornered. You were born to be something different. He's flexing his Giga Chad leg. Oh, it's over now. <laughs> yeah, if you don't beat him with the gun, you're not gonna beat him without it. Oh, come on. Oh, is he gonna trap him in the closing door? That's the only play. Oh, they got separated. <gasps> he saved him. He saved him. He was about to lose his entire left arm. Oh, he's trying. Oh, Kogami. Oh, Kogami, you poor soul. Did I call it? I'm going to be so excited if I call it. If he was... Ah, oh, just criminally and symptomatic. I didn't call that. Come on, man. Ah, upsetting. Wait, I think they did say that, but I didn't even realize. I, it didn't even register to me. Oh. That's that's interesting. Japan's got a ton of body doubles, too. So that's they're, they're faking their own psychopaths in, in a different way. Oh, he was on the same flight. He was in economy. Kanye was first class. Oh, wait, no, okay, so it was def- Okay. There's a couple layers to it here. She's looking at her gun like, come on, man. So Colonel wanted to take over Han. 
So they sent in the, the drones and then flipped them on Colonel. And this guy, the body double, was sent in by Japan, who was criminally symptomatic to make it all work. A body double. Okay, so it's kind of close to what I was saying, but not, not quite. She's saying. Uh. Oh, Sybil. Yeah, that's all I wanted. Okay, then what do you believe in? Is this your own? Yeah, just trying to raise the... The, uh, happiness level of the entire planet. Crime is deviation from the law. Uh, ooh, good transition. True. Yeah, you're, uh, people support the law. The law you've brought in isn't supported by the people. But at the same time, she makes a little, it simple makes a little bit of a good point. It, it was suffering. This entire place was suffering really bad. And so if you can do a really quick change, but the, I mean, there's a lot of like real world kind of variations of this, right? Of like nations coming in, putting in their own leader and then saying we fixed it and walking away. So it's just like, you can't, it's, it's, it's risky. Yeah. People, of the nation reject us. It's a risk. She just turned off the hologram by walking through it, Giga Chad. Oh wait, no, it's still up. <laughs> they have to decide. Yeah, you have to be worthy of the people. Make the law worth protecting, baby. Okay, so it is basically Sybil because he's straight up word matching. It's word matching. There's just a Sybil extension. So body double wasn't just like some other person they did it. It's just straight up Sybil. Okay, no, I was right then. I was right then. I take that as an I take that as a W. I take that as a W. That's a human right. Come on, man. Huh? She said take it. Come on, man. We fought for this world. So Sybil system, have some respect for it. Now let's watch Kogan, Ko, Kogami get completely blapped. This guy doesn't want to kill him though, I feel like. Well, maybe he does now because he's starting to sauce. He ripped it off. Kogami's going to get the dub. Good on you, Mr. Japanese. Man, what's with Kogami in knife fights, man? He's always finding himself in a knife fight. And he's always losing them, too. <laughs> he lost the ones with Makashima. <laughs> oh, the flashing red. Uh, the guy's only got one arm to push down with, but he's using the entire body weight. Akane! That's Gino! That's Gino! I forgot! Gino. Oh, one shot of your dominator. Roboarm versus Roboarm. Who's the better Roboarm? It's Gino. It's Gino. Hey, okay, my man Gino getting action I'm looking for. The ponytail threw me off. I thought it was Akane hair because the ponytail. Like it being longer like that. Oh, the flip. Sit down. It's over. Out Roboarmed. My man Gino and Kogami back at it again. That's two Mr. <gasps> Cyanide pill. He just wiped him. He just twisted his neck like 480 degrees. What was he about to do? Suicide tooth? 
Was it about to explode? Whoa. Whoa. I was right. <laughs> I was very right. Please tell me Gino and Kogami get some words with each other, man. I want to see Gino get some get some words in with the boy. Oh, that's terrible. Look at all the muscles in you. Gino says, caught you. Thank you. You're my boy, Kogami. Leave now. I'm giving you a free pass away. True, Gino's got respect for her because she's putting in the work. Yeah, you have. Gino's the one that's gone the most character development. And there's his punch, baby. Knocked him flat. Or <laughs> even now. I'm out this hoe. <laughs> Dude, Kogami got stomped on. He can't win a single fight he's in, poor guy. Don't worry, don't worry, Akane. I'll never, I'll, you think I'll die that easy? Gets kidnapped, gets punching bagged. Gets in a fight with the mercenary. Almost loses. Gino saves him. Poor Kogami. He's a thug, but he takes so many L's. Wait, so what's your... What's, what's the long-term effects here? Lay them out for me like you're talking to a four-year-old. Oh, okay. They're talking about it. Oh, you got Kogami in your backseat. Hey, there's worse people to have back there. Finally, geez. Yeah, chew that for there. <sighs> Poor Akane. That's like what she's always doing with something way bigger than her. How is it that she's still the best one? She's still the one that gets the most the most work. Oh, couldn't scan him. He has changed a little bit. He's yeah, he's a full criminal in a in a sense. He's like he's definitely a like his crime coefficient's out of control, you know? Poor guy. He's still doing good, though, in a sense, right? He's not doing stuff for his own ego, I don't think. Kind of like Akane was insinuating. Oh, okay. They had some good bromance, the two of them there. Connie's a bro. She passed at the bro test. We got the dub. That's a squad up. They're still wearing the necklaces, man. That sucks for them. Man, well, that's what happens when you... So we got some insight into, like, the bigger world, which is really crazy. I mean, the entire world just sucks. Is that cast? That, okay, that's credits. I wonder if there's... They're probably not in Christine. I'll just let them roll. Though I, I can't have the volume going because I can't... Oh, they're playing the ED music that we recognize. Oh, wait, that's so sweet. Okay. Okay, I gotta lower the volume so I can think. What's crazy? We have some like world building, right? Which is interesting because we've only been in Japan the entire time. So it's nice to see like the entire world sucks. So like in a really weird way, Sybil's kind of like, I don't know, man. Like they're the, the their society, at least like people are chilling. But even then, like they're kind of sheep people, which is what the mercenary guy was kind of talking about a little bit. So it's hard to tell if like what's better, war torn country or sheep sheep country you know which i mean i would have to put my vote in sheep country because at least you get to live a life of like you know you get to live and not constantly be on death's door but the whole criminal thing is still kind of saucy especially like and i'm glad they touched on a couple things like um 
like Akane is saying that like who's whose crime coefficient is going to be anything good in this area like everyone's screwed because everyone's going to be criminally messed up oh that little piano riff i don't think i'd ever hear that again that makes that actually touches my soul that's the piano riff from season one ed man the little, the little at the end of the doo -doo -doo. Ooh. i don't know what that was but okay i'm gonna skip through this a little bit because i have trouble thinking i don't think there's gonna be anything else because this isn't freaking i don't know spider-man right this isn't marvel <laughs> what there is turn it back up let's go with you kogani kogani kogami monkeys 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 Careful with the gun, careful with the gun. Oh, so Han's still gonna get, Han's still getting the dub, but he's not. True. He's doing it through the people this time. Dang, and that's Finn. That's an hour 53, 41. Wonderful. Oh boy. That kind of, you know, that the ending flew, the, it flew by near the end there. I feel like pacing was pretty good. Pacing was pretty good. Um, mercenaries were interesting. I'm glad we got some Akane fan service because Homegirl, Homegirl's kind of, kind of clean with that. Um, I think, I think my favorite thing they did was give Gino some love because Gino has not been getting the love he deserves. I mean, he's got his entire character arc from season one that I feel like season two didn't expand upon. That was one of my biggest, like, my biggest problems, right, with season two. Um, but my boy Gino, getting to have some words with Kogami, getting to punch him in the face, getting to get into the duel with Robo Arm, Robo Arm v. Robo Arm. I mean, that's just, that's the kind of Gino love that I've been looking for. I don't even care that my man Hina gets like two two lines of dialogue. That's what Hino has been the entire time. He's gone like total lines of dialogue is like less than 50 for my boy, but that's okay because he's still the best. Don't worry about him. Um, I definitely, I called some of the, called some of the twists I was hoping to call. So I'm glad for that. I get a little tripped up on some of the politics, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. The entire world sucks. That's the biggest revelation, honestly, that the entire world's like this war-torn mess. Like that's the kind of vibe that they, they put out. And so Sybil is like colonize, it's like recolonizing everything, putting out these little like, like that was the first little like experiment to see like, let's do like remote Sybil and like make a new community here. But in like a weird way, Sybil's goal is to increase happiness, right? That's the entire thing, which is better than a lot of the war-torn places. Their leaders are just like power hungry. So it's, you can't be too mad at that. But at the same time, that was largely Sybil there doing all the doing all the work there because they're the ones that were controlling Han and they're the ones that had the drones. So it's like almost, like Sybil's like, almost right like almost is what we're looking for so for some sort of society but it's just the way they handle the criminally the criminally um latent criminals i just that's where i feel like a lot of the problems start coming because then you're dealing with like people that are put in bad situations where they're the victim and you're like doing like some weird victim blaming by forcing them to become latent criminals and ruin their lives you got the people with the collars on that are getting manipulated the whole like emphasis on clearing your hue makes a ton of people that are like, I mean, it's like a Black Mirror nosedive situation. If you if you haven't seen that, go watch that. That's pretty good. And that's kind of some similar vibes. Um, Black Mirror nosedive, I'll say it again. Um, but like that kind of society where the entire focus is keeping your mind so pure like that. I mean, and it's what we've been talking about the entire time is divorcing you from like the human condition, right? Like to live is to suffer in a lot of ways. You could make that kind of argument. There's a lot to be said about that. And so when you're trying to like coddle and protect people forever, like, uh, is, there, is there ever a potential world where you can do that and where you can have people be protected that much? And even if that's a possibility, which with Sybil, I mean, there's a chance, is that is that the right call? You know, like, but it does seem that no matter what you do, you're always going to get Akane's, you're always going to get Kogami's, you're always going to get Makashima's who appear in the system, who have been raised by it, and still pop off and they still like will do crazy things and it's like so you can't sedate everybody like that i mean you'll get your mika mika mikus but you won't be getting your akanes you even like gino even like hina i'm gonna bring hina into it i mean they're latent criminals some of them but so 
that's kind of a kind of an entire another issue there it's tough it's tough if there was another world if there was another place in the world that wasn't like messed up then we'd be talking differently i really hope that my editing software didn't mess up that would have been so bad okay we got the dub boys look mike ox it's getting my voice it says recording we're good, we're good. I was stressing about that in the midway, but I didn't want to pause the movie. I was I was immersed, I was feeling it, you know? Overall, that was a good movie though, I enjoyed it. Um, I'm making a Snapchat at 5 a.m., it's fine, don't worry about it. Um, It was definitely a good movie, I enjoyed it. Mercenaries were a bit random, but you need you need some sort of fighting antagonist, like, okay, dude. Um, <laughs> Singogami, as an insurgent, as a freaking guerrilla warfare, I was not ready for, and I still like, it's just such a such a difference from some from how we see him in season one, which he's just like doing work, being like the kind of the detective noir thing. This is like army military, you know. It's a completely different vibe. But they kind of talked about how they felt like he changed in some ways, and he's kind of becoming a more like Makashima in some twisted ways. If you want to talk about like the the charisma and the grouping people together, and the kind of thing he was talking about with like um, what do you say? Forget the spiritual leader kind of stuff, right? Um, so he's definitely, there's definitely some changes in him. Uh, but he's, you know, he's off into the world again. Who knows what he's doing? He might keep working like the outside world, outside of Sybil's influence, trying to, you know, fight for what he believes in and try to raise people to do the same. Um, but like, Sybil doesn't seem like something you can fight against that well, right? Like, they're just so good. They come in with their drones and they just roll the place. I mean, Kogami tried to... Kogami and his insurgents, like, you know, they were able to take down some choppers, but, like... The, uh, with the world as such a mess, it seems that Civil is kind of the only option. If there was some, like... If the, if the United States of America was just chilling in the corner being, like, you know, and they were, like, still, like, not war-torn, we'd be having a different, different story. If Australia was down there, like, popping off... Like, then I'd say, hey, let's look at what Australia is doing and maybe we'll have some luck. But there's not. We ain't got nothing like that. So it's really just, you know, similar, similar war, man. And wars doesn't seem like the best kind of place compared to Sybil. Um, Gino was Pog. Hina's Pog. Hina's always Pog. My girl, Akane, getting the fan service she deserves. Um, much appreciated. Thank you, producer. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I said that. Um... Seeing her reunite with Kogami was also a highlight. I mean, they had to do that right. That was definitely the most important thing. I mean, if they did, if they messed that up, that would have been a problem. People would have hated this movie. But I think they did it fine. It was fun for her to kind of get the leg up on Kogami. And it's like, oh shoot, like she's good with it. Um, because she's definitely the main main character. You know, Kogami. Kogami is important, but Akane is where it's at. Uh, I'm on Team Akane. I'm on Team Akane. I'm gonna say how it is. She's gotten S season two. She started putting in the chops, putting in the work, while Kogami's off, you know, in a war. I'm with I'm with my girl Akane now. And Kogami's still cool. He, he he gets second place. He gets the silver award, but it's tough. It's tough. Overall, good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, there are more. What's next up? I think they're called like the Gaiden things or something. I don't know. I have it. Do I have it? Oh, I have it closed. Wait, let me just pull it up. Let me pull it up for you. Okay, so we have the Psychopaths movie we just watched. Then we have the Gaiden movie, Psychopaths Sinners the System, Case 1, 2, and 3. Then we have Psychopaths 3. Then we have Psychopaths First Inspector. So, um, I'm going to have to figure out what the heck Psychopaths Sinners the System, Case 1, 2, and 3 are. But until Psychopaths Sinners the System, that was the movie. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. But on to the next. You know how it goes. Um, So, I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, dawn, evening, wherever it is, whatever, whatever you're doing. I hope you do great. Wherever you're at, I hope that's great. But other than that, I'm out of here. Peace.